Hello guys, flashlight enthusiast here. So today I'd like to review some pros and cons of both MSR D18 and Astrolux MF01S. Uh, both of my samples use same LEDs, which is SSD20 in 4000K tint. Uh, many of you probably wonder which one is better, which one suits you best, and I would like to cover some differences and similarities of both flashlights because I come across some questions in forums and I actually wondered myself whether I should get the MSR D18 or MF01S from Astrolux uh, or Mataminko. Uh, so the story is that I actually got this MSR D18 first and then I found out about a similar flashlight produced by Astrolux. So I actually purchased this one also uh, after I already owned the MSR D18. And I have to say these flashlights, although share pretty similar concept and design, are quite two different flashlights. Uh, so obviously as you can see the size is um, really different, uh, as D18 is kind of pocketable flashlight, I, I have to say that it might go into your jacket pocket or even if you're in your baggy trousers, uh, but MF01S is, is pretty heavy. Uh, much more than than the 18 and uh, it's considerable considerably bigger so unless you have some really big pockets it won't get inside it look at the size of the head on this thing right so it's it's definitely bigger so that's that's the first thing you should consider whether you like pocketable flashlight or some big beast all right the second thing is the battery choice, right? So uh, in MSR D18 you really have to use this button top 18650 batteries uh, and although the design actually allows you to use flat top it actually requires you to modify the flashlight because as I unscrew it, let me show you guys what I have in mind very nice fins by the way very deep and square cut nice work hunk so as you can see we've got this ring brass ring that make contact with your batteries so it actually it is possible to use flat top but you have to remove this red plastic uh, ring um, which is doable but I didn't try it myself so I cannot say if it's easy or not, but I read on forums that it is possible, so guys, shoot yourself if you'd like to. So this MSR D18 uses free 18650 batteries and I do recommend button top design. Everything works smooth and easy. The one thing I don't like is that the o-ring actually goes a bit higher. Uh, then the head and so you've got this section with grease that is between o-ring and head it actually catches dirt a bit all right and this MSR D18 has regulated output up to 2000 lumens I believe uh, so below that it uses AMC uh, circuit and above it's it's fat so it, li it has like three channels, one plus plus 15 or 19 and above is fat. So it, uh, I repeat, it has regulated output to, to 2000 lumens. And MF01S is a bit different. It uses different driver design. It's uh, Lexel's projects. Uh, so it's more like dual channel fat if I'm not mistaken without AMC at all so it's more like a direct drive without stabilization uh, and the main difference it uses 4 18650 instead of 3 so a bit more power and actually this the design allows you to use button flat, flat top batteries sorry uh, by default that's a nice addition 
you don't have to look for button top. As you can see, there are no plastic uh, rings or anything like that, just plain flat contact and the same goes inside the battery tube. So as you can see I'm using here flat top uh, 30Q from Samsung and it's working pretty decent. Right. Let's screw this one up. Obviously, if you want to lock it out, you have to unscrew the head. And now it's it's locked. No problem with that. The same goes with emissor. Uh, so obvious reason, of course, is the auxiliary LEDs in this MFO1S from Astrolux. MSR does not have this, but uh, I think the crucial difference is the beam profile. Yes, guys. Although they use the same LEDs, the same amount of LEDs, they do produce slightly different beam profiles. And I mean slightly, because Astrolux gives you hotspot only. It's like in this Olight S1R, S2R series, when you get from the tire optic just, you know, the, the hotspot and almost no spill, the same goes with Astrolux. It's like a big center hotspot with almost no spill, which I will show you here on a sheet of paper. Bear in mind guys, when you load the, the batteries, it will go to like 2000 mode. Mm, 2000 lumen mode so it's kind of bright just from the start so I will yeah as you can see it's it's fairly bright so as I approach closer and closer as you can see there's this center hotspot and the spill is actually gradually fading so in real life there's this effect of big, white, very bright hotspot and almost no spill, right? Yeah, so you can see here the hotspot is fairly wide and the spill is, is very dim, right? Well, let's compare it to D18. So D18, in my opinion, has pretty focused hotspot and the rest of light is evenly spread in the spill with very wide angle. Right, so again, when you load the batteries, you will get the max regulated mode, which is about 2000 lumens. Again, very bright, you can see the hotspot here, is, and as I approach, it actually becomes very intense. I can barely look at it. Uh, here it looks pretty similar to Astrolux, right? So let's get the side view. So as you can probably see the hotspot is narrower and the spill goes here and here, right? Can you see that? Yeah, so the spot is really tight, I can tell, but the transition to spill is pretty smooth, so you won't notice that in the real life unless you pay attention to the hotspot. Okay, let's let's do side by side. Let's make it dimmer. <laughs> Alright, I will show you in the forest as well, so you will get the comparison in real life, not only on a sheet of paper, as I like to do. Yeah, here on such a distance you, you probably wouldn't see a difference, but in real world, in the forest, I will show you how it does look. Okay. So the choice guys is really simple, if you like the compact thrower, pocket thrower, pocket flutter and all in one really, uh, I would suggest the MSR D18 or waiting for Hang Wang to produce D18 V2 
with auxiliary LEDs and constant current driver, but probably it won't happen uh, soon. I'm waiting myself. <laughs> but uh, if you want, uh, you know, more powerful light, because yes, guys, uh, I have to admit that Astrolux, maybe because of the optics used or additional cell, I don't know what it is uh, exactly because both both flashlights uses a fat driver but actually Astrolux produces much more powerful beam I mean in a lux meter I can really measure that the Astrolux is brighter than the uh, the 18 it's strange it's strange really and another thing to consider is the range uh, although D18 has more focused hotspot, but uh, it does not have the range that MF01S does. This little base throws over 600 meters, while the 18 uh, is more like 450 meters, I believe. So it's almost 50% uh, more beam distance on the MF01S, which is pretty impressive, I must say. Yeah, pretty impressive. But you know, it's uh, you can easily conclude that this is because of uh, tight hotspot and almost zero speed while emissary loses some light on the on the sides. So yeah, it must be that. And the information for true flashaholics and thin snobs, uh, unfortunately, uh, MSR D18 has some lower quality bin of SSD20 so it appears slightly more greenish than the bin of uh, MF01S so I believe this uses FA3 and uh, the MSR D18 uses FB3 so this is this B letter uh, unfortunately means the more greenish tint and I actually can see like side by side this this flashlights uh, if I light them up I can see that this D18 is slightly slightly greener but probably you cannot see the difference but it's really slightly green so it's it's acceptable uh, I have to admit no, no problem with that okay guys so let's go to to the forest and show you the beam shots uh, I'm I'm really impressed with both flashlights and if I had to choose one it would be a hard tough decision but I would probably choose D18 because of the size and and almost the same power and slightly better for me personally uh, better driver but again I missed auxiliary LEDs on this one so if I can have both I will have both definitely on the plus side for MF01S it's throw uh, more power, uh, slightly longer runtime, and auxiliary LEDs. And for this one, the size, almost the same power, a little bit better driver, in my opinion. The finish is really, really similar. I mean, the, the quality of these flashlights are, are pretty similar, so I wouldn't uh, put you know advantage in this category for one or another. So yeah, that's it guys, let's go see some beam shots. MSR D18, 18, SSD20, 4000K, 95 CRI, beautiful tint, evenly spread beam with tight hotspot, very nice. Let's go a bit right, so here the blink indicates the maximum regulated output which is about thousand lumens pretty decent output for light that size but you know what it's not the max out output it's actually only 20% let's bump it up to turbo oh wow oh wow this is impressive this is really impressive slightly greenish tint lots of lumens coming out over 10,000 lumens but you know what? It already 
started to step down. In this pocket size flashlight, over 10,000 lumens, but only for about 15 20 seconds. Massive step down here. I hope you could see it on camera. So it dropped. Now it's starting to hold steady, but still I can feel the heat building up. Even with my gloves on, and it's pretty chilly here today, around 4 degrees Celsius. And pretty cold. So, the only real feature of thermal regulation is shining here. The colder it gets, the longer a flashlight will hold the brightness. But still, as you can see, it actually dropped to probably 2000 lumens. And here for comparison, Astrolux MF01S, some lower setting, let's wrap it up, and boom, oh, holy shit guys, this thing is a beast, not only it does reach over 13,000 lumens, but it's also beautiful tint from this SSD20 LEDs, I got it in neutral white for 1000k 95 CRI the thing is beautiful in this thing look at the colors here but you know what this thing is already stepping down and this is the problem you can clearly see it and I can feel it in my head I can feel my hand heating up from this flashlight these SSD20 LEDs are not efficient really, they are beautiful color, but they heat up pretty quickly, so even though this flashlight is a monster in terms of size, it steps down pretty quickly and now I've got like maybe 2000 lumens, maybe even less, so in turbo mode only for 30 seconds. BT. Now the comparison Astrolux MF01S versus Semisor D18. Both SSD20 4000K 95 CRI. Let's do it, guys. Astrolux Emisor. Astrolux Emisor before stepping down. Astrolux Emisor. Astrolux stepping down. Emisor stepping down through the end of the test.